Connectivity is everything. Mobile tech means access to people, money, business, transport, education, health and much more besides. Networks and connections used to refer to the people you knew, the power of contacts. Networks and connections now refer to power full stop, electricity. Because without electricity, you can't digitalise industries and society soon grinds to a halt. So how is digital technology impacting the power grid and the generation of electricity itself? And what does digitalisation even mean in this context? Well, here's two experts to tell us some answers. Digitalisation is a kind of umbrella or a general concept given. So you can enhance your managing process, your technical process, your reporting to the society, to the stakeholders, more easily, in a more uh, uh, standardized way. It's very easy for you to, to know what's correct, what can be enhanced, what's wrong, what you need to make changes or correct things. And also, it's in, from an internal point of view, you know where you are in terms of, for instance, energy transition and the sustainability effects, social inclusion, in, inclusion of people. So all the reporting is much more easy because it, it becomes more automatic. So digitalization is, let's say, uh, an enhanced phase of managing technical and reporting processes. So what opportunities does that create then in, in the sphere of electrical transmission and distribution and storage? I have a concept that electricity today is as important as food and drinkable water because the societies cannot live without electricity. Also because the internet services, they are also based on electricity. You have to have electricity too. So it becomes almost like a basic human right. A basic, yeah. a basic human right. So it's, well, we are going to have, the, the, our societies will be soon 100% electrified in, in, a, in a short time. So. We need to, uh, the electricity sector, the, the, the service of providing uh, electrical energy becomes of fundamental importance today. So what is the role that you see AI playing in this industry and how do you ensure it still ends up as a reliable, secure grids and supply of electricity at the end of it? So in my mind, AI is a group of capability like prediction, like uh, sensing, recognition, and also judgment. Especially for our power grid, now is facing very big challenge from the, uh, how to say, unstable new knowledge and also the changing load patterns. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is we use AI from the generation side for prediction of uh, climate change and also for the weather, especially for the sunlight and the wind, which can hugely improve the, the generation efficiency of the wind farm you see, and our uh, PVs. And uh, the other thing is, our power grid need to balance the generation and the load. This is the, how to say, the most important thing to keep the reliability and the security of the power grid. Yeah. And uh, we need big data, especially with AI, for the analysis with the history uh, data and for the predict of the load. And then we can have a better balance and integration with new energy and our power grid. So what about the area of sustainability then? What's the role of ICT technologies and SIGRE in this sustainable transition that we all want to see globally? Yeah, okay. You know, digitalization is much more connected with the increased use of renewables. They are not the same concept, but they, they came together. The concept of energy transition means you are having more renewable sources, so you are looking ahead to maintain the uh, climate uh, 1.5 degrees uh, right. target. Yeah. So uh, this is one point. You need to have in mind that the, the electrical sector is one of the, in some countries at least, is one of the pollution sources. Mm. You, you need to know how is your contribution 
to a better planet or how good boy you are, how bad boy you are in that, in that sense. Mm -hmm. It's important to know that energy transition is, a, is even a higher umbrella. It covers digitalization, increased use of renewable systems and ESG uh, agenda, the ESG agenda. The other Yes, example I would share is for distribution side. Distribution is a, maybe the most challenging area in the power grid because now you see um, maybe millions of uh, EV now is collecting to our power grid, especially in China. Mm. But this brings us very unstable and uh, un, how to say predictive yeah. load. Yeah. And the other thing is now we have a new energy or new new basic models like uh, batteries, like uh, roof solar, we can sell electricity to our power operator. This makes us very big change, not only for the business model, but also for the technical architecture. The AI, we are using it together with our big data and our infrastructure of, uh, how to say, ICT, to provide the capability. The first thing is to monitoring all the terminals and all the device, all the EVs. The other thing is we can have the orderly arrangement of the electricity use. That means we can have a better response of the demand. And the third thing is we can, for the city level, we can use the, how to say, the balance of this kind of electricity usage and then to, how to say, improve the, how to say, the responsibility, mm -hmm. reliability and uh, security of the energy system and also to reduce the carbon emission to achieve the target of uh, carbon neutrality.